Errol Spence says he has a second chance at life and his career, and he can't let it slip away. He also says the Danny Garcia fight, the training camp, was one of the best camps that he's ever had. We're going to talk about all that and more. Stay tuned. Yo, what up, Fight World? It's your boy, Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to my channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, channel donations, the Venmo donations, the Cash App. That's dollar sign boxing Ego and the Patreon family. Yeah, we working. Before I get started, ESPN Plus, use my link in the description. I'll give you guys some more details in this video. Errol Spence Jr., he says that he feels great in camp. He just had his media day, and as you can see, he's in phenomenal shape. I got some other videos coming. Ego Weight Watchers, the man's looking dialed in. He's looking ready to go. Like, these are the pictures. Like, this is actually exciting times. And I want to go over what Errol Spence said. He's obviously conducted some recent interviews. And he says, and I quote, I'm feeling good and ready to go. You see how I'm sweating out? I'm not dried out, nor do I look like I'm struggling to make weight. I'm feeling good. And this is ahead of his fight with Danny Garcia. He says, Having a kid is just a blessing and motivation. In case you guys didn't know, Errol Spence had a son a few weeks ago. And congratulations to him on that. He says, it pushes me to work harder to see his face along with my two other daughters. I just want to fight for their future and have the best life that I could give them. The only way I could do that is to push hard and work hard to give them that life. So you have Errol Spence, who since the accident has refocused and recalibrated and so far so good man i told you this this looked like a monster arrow this is reminding me of the the old arrow spence look at these pictures you see the the how vascular he is how lean he is and this is weeks early regarding his accent he said it was a lot of uncertainty i didn't know what i was going to do i just knew i was going to keep training i went to any city where I could talk to doctors and get some kind of brain scans and body scans. I just wanted to make sure I was 100% ready to be in the ring. They gave me the okay. They said my brain didn't have any impact, so it was time. He says, a year ago today with the accident, you know, I feel like this is a second chance for me, not just in boxing, but in living. I definitely believe it's a miracle for me to survive and a year later to have a fight like this. It's a second chance for me, and I can't let it go. Wow. You know, Errol Spence, first of all, let me start off by saying this. This is a great fight. December 5th, some crowd. This is definitely a phenomenal fight. This has been a real rough year for a lot of people. And, you know, my prayers go out to everybody going through the struggle. But just count your blessings. And it sounds like that's kind of what Errol Spence is doing. It always gets better. You know, Errol Spence, this was him a year ago. And now he's about to have a hometown fight. He has a new bundle of joy. You see a picture of his, his son. So he has a son to add to the family, you know, to his two daughters. And he's about to do another fight at AT&T Stadium. I applaud Errol Spence. He seems like he's more than willing and ready to both physically and mentally take this on. I feel sometimes we as people, we need these little hiccups and roadblocks and things in life. Make sure you like and subscribe. These different things going on to cause us to take a step back 
see the error in our ways, see what we're doing right, but most importantly, seeing what we can improve and things that, you know, we didn't get get quite right. And I think that's kind of Errol Spence. This the pictures you're seeing aren't from his most recent media day, but I showed you guys these so you could see the comparison to the other previous pictures that I showed you. This was for Spence versus Garcia, but a different Garcia, not Danny Garcia. This was ahead of the Spence versus Mikey Garcia fight. And now he's getting ready to fight Danny Garcia, no relation. So you see how Errol Spence looks. You know, he looks cool. He looks in shape. But the Errol that we've seen from the, the media days ahead with the Danny Garcia fight post-accident, to me, he looks in better shape he looks more ready to go and these were probably roughly about the same time before the actual fight probably about you know the media day two three weeks before the actual fight so i'm proud of errol spence for i guess learning the lesson some people go through it and go through crazy stuff like i know people in life who have gotten duis and they got another one you see what I'm saying? Or they, their parents told them not to do something, and they did it again, and it happened again. And it looks like Errol Spence is, is really calmed down and settled down in his career, and maybe this was the wake-up call that he needed. But judging from the pictures, they say a picture says a thousand words. This is him in his first media day, as you guys can see. Well, not first, but with Mikey Garcia, his first Garcia media day. And you look at that shape that he's in there and then we'll revisit Errol Spence in present form like he looks uh, like in these at the time when you have nothing to compare it to you're just like okay Errol's he's looking good he's looking ready I think this really motivated him look at him bro in the in the newer pictures in the newer pictures all of his muscles are like they look fully pumped he looks vascular you see striations, his veins, like it, he's in a different type of shape. This is the Mikey Garcia fight. If if only he was this focused in the Mikey Garcia, and that was a great performance, so don't get that twisted. It was a great performance, but I see a difference. This might have made a monster. Again, he wasn't in bad shape here, but it looks like he arrived at this shape a bit different. You know, he arrived at this shape a little bit different this time, you know, and... I really can't wait for this fight. Danny Garcia said that Errol Spence is a lie and he's not the truth. We, you know, ultimately we'll find that out. So this is him for the Danny Garcia fight. And I know Mikey Garcia said, I see something. I see something. You know, I don't know what he was claiming to have seen, but I see a monster right here. I think Errol Spence, I can't speak for him. You know, I'm not him, obviously. But in my honest opinion, I think Errol Spence respects Danny Garcia. Like, I'm not saying he thinks he could lose to Danny Garcia. But with everything that's out, all the information that's out, right? This is a more dangerous fight. And I think he realizes that. It, it, and a lot of it comes and stems from the accident. And I think he's aware of that. And some people, these are also pictures from current form Errol Spence Jr. post-accident. Look at you, you You guys see a difference? Y'all don't see no difference from the last pictures that I showed y'all? I think, I'm not saying he slept on Mikey Garcia. But what I am saying is that everything surrounding this fight, including the accident, has raised the stakes, which some fighters are like that, like not even just being in an accident or anything like that, but the higher the stakes, the the more they raise their game or the better the opponent, the better their performance is because they know what's what's at stake and you know they they're so highly competitive and they have that sheer will to win that that ups their game. And that's what it looks like in this fight. Again, Mikey was coming up. I don't know if Errol Spence even thought Mikey was on his level at all. 
Like he he wasn't even checking on. I have an interview with him from Vegas from the Lada and her fight. I don't think he really even took Mikey's call out serious until Mikey kept mentioning his name and the networks. They were like, "Hey, we like that fight." So he's like, "All right, man down. I'll take it. I'll fight Mikey." You know, and then it happened. But Danny is someone he's called out, who's in the division, who's been at the division, and it's just a different, it's a different ball game. And then when you add that with, and culminated with the fact that he just had the accident, and people are skeptical, wonder if he could take a punch. It, it looks like he's really gotten up for this fight. So he, he's he's telling the truth, just like his nickname, telling the truth. Um, He's refocused and and he looks ready to go, man. He really does. Ego Weight Watchers, aka Ill. Let me know what you guys think. Arrow gets a second crack at just everything. Everything he stands for. Everything he's done thus far. He has a second chance at life. He has a new family member that he just introduced in the world. This is a big fight. High stakes. Let me know what you guys think before I get out of here. Use the link ESPN Plus. ESPN Plus, they have a ton of original content, docu-series, documentaries, archive footage from the UFC, also boxing, in case you missed a fight like Teofimo Lopez and Lomachenko and more. Get ESPN Plus as a standalone app, or you can get the bundle ESPN Plus, Hulu, and Disney Plus, all three apps for one low price, $12.99. But Arrow definitely looking dialed in at this media day. I would even say more so than his previous fight so we're gonna see you know we're gonna see danny garcia far from a slouch danny has power danny is ready to go danny looked to be in good shape from what i've seen as well his media day is coming up this week it's almost go time y'all look there's danny right there almost go time I can't wait for this fight. Oh, hooked him. And Arrow having this. Oh, kill Brooke. So basically, realistically, in mid fight with Arrow. You know, he punched me in my eye. <laughs> um, realistically speaking, this might be the best fight this year. This is something that. Errol Spence called out. See, this and this is what I don't understand about boxing. Errol Spence called out Danny Garcia years ago, and the timing wasn't right or whatever. It didn't happen. But now the PBC, and then when it wasn't happening, people said, oh, PBC, you know, they're not making the fights and cherry pick this and this, this, and that. And then now we got a great fight. Both fighters look to be in amazing shape. Errol Spence looks refocused. He, he didn't have to have a fat camp this camp. And he main he maintained and managed his weight, and the boxing is getting it right. PBC is getting it right with this one, and those same detractors that always write a bad article or leave these comments about, you know, why is Danny Garcia not fighting Sean Porter who called him out or Errol Spence who called him out? Now these guys are all fighting round robin style, and you don't see the praise. But I'm gonna give it the praise because I'm a real one, and you know I give credit where credits due. This is an amazing fight. Stay tuned. Other people, you know, the haters, they don't want to talk about it. We're doing the Box Eagle Watch Party, BWP. We're going to continue to uh, promote this fight. Um, this is this is, this is is the one. This is the one. I'm looking forward to it. Look at it. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready for this. But... That's my little message. All the fans that complain when boxing don't get it right, you know, show some appreciation when boxing does get it right. Like this, Saturday, December 5th. Order the pay-per-view, live on pay-per-view, Fox, PBC. This is Errol Spence and his trainer. Second chance in life. Let go. Let me know how I did in this video. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button, and you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.